Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for July 2024. Okay, so welcome to July. We are moving into a brand new month, brand new vibration, brand new energy, brand new chapter. We are definitely going to be dealing with the vibration of seven, which yes, has to do a lot with relationships, especially with the relationship we're building within ourselves. However, the main focus in July is going to be finding peace, harmony, stability, a surety, certainty within ourselves, within our physical realm, with the path, with the direction, with the choices that we are currently trying to choose from. Now, June offered us Gemini season, and then we moved into Cancer season. That solstice energy definitely ramped things up, definitely put us in some tough love life situations where, karmically speaking, some things fall apart. Some things definitely got removed out of our lives that we weren't counting on. However, anything that has been removed is for your highest good. You cannot find yourself on the path of your soul's potential while still being attached to some of the earthly people, places, and things that are not meant for your highest mission. So of course, cancer season is still alive and well. We're definitely being tossed back and forth in the waves, in the ocean of emotion. We have a lot to break down within ourselves in order for us to build ourselves up in a much better, much stronger way. But the cancer energy in its totality definitely has us reminiscing over the past, over what could have been, even though if that was for us, it wouldn't have fallen apart. Now, moving into July, this vibration of seven is really going to pressurize us to find a new grounding point, to find a new happiness, new peace, new contentment with some of the ever-changing situations and circumstances, especially in our physical realms, especially where relationships are concerned. Now, of course, we're diving into July, still very much in cancer season. We will be seeing the shift of some of these inner planets moving into the Leo energy prior to Leo season. But just remember that the sun is in his rulership in Leo energy, and that means that we are at a struggle point. We're in a transition point. Cancer season being a cardinal energy is the time where we change paths, we change directions. And of course, adjustment periods, transitional periods, periods are never fun. They're never comfortable. But as we kind of get going here this month, you're going to see a lot of beautiful opportunities for growth, for alignment, for actually stabilizing in your situation, in your circumstance and growing, evolving, pushing the boundaries of who it is that you actually believe that you are and who it is that you actually can become especially once we start moving into the Leo energy, the heart and soul of the Zodiac, we are going to have a time to not only get heart and head aligned, but we are going to have the opportunity to operate from our most authentic self. So coming into the month, we waste no time on July 2nd. We have back to back events. The first one being Neptune going retrograde at 29 degrees in Pisces energy in his rulership, which is definitely going to put us all in a situation where we're going to have to hit the pause button. We're pausing the new goal, the new vision, the new dream in order to clean up the remnants of the past. Of course, we are going to feel like the universe essentially bitch slapped the rose colored glasses off of our face. We have to take a good look at life as it is, not for the way that we wished it would be. And we have to do the dirty work to actually tie up the loose ends, the remnants, the debris of the past. Again, karmic chapters have already shifted karmic chapters are essentially changing. That means that there's going to be, again, an overlap of things ending and things not quite beginning. This particular energy definitely going to test our faith. It's going to test us in a way because we essentially have to put forth the energy, the effort, the attention needed in order to clean up our environments, our circumstances, 
from the chapters that just fell apart. And from now until the fall, we are going to have to put one foot in front of the other and really show not only ourselves, but the universe that we've learned some lessons, that we can really integrate some tough love life lessons of the past into the present moment where we can boss up, really trust our intuition, trust the plan, trust the guidance of the universe to not only close the door on the old, but to start actively opening up new doors to the future. Now, same day on the second, we have Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves moving into the Leo energy. So, of course, Mercury's been in the Cancer energy, all up in the feels, analyzing our emotions, really kind of connected to blending together the intellect with our intuition. We were very much in review in that Cancer energy. We were very sentimental, very nostalgic. And again, really just kind of understanding from a different perspective what we want, what we need, what we desire to feel safe and secure and stable in our physical realms. Now moving into the Leo energy, again, the heart and soul of the Zodiac, not only are we getting our heart and head in alignment, but now we are allowing the heart space to lead. In typical Leo fashion, we are going to be bold and brave and courageous enough to speak our truth, to tell our story, to declare our affections. We're going to be down Downloaded with some very creative solutions to some long-term standing problems. We're going to have some big ideas. And because of that, we are definitely going to be extroverted. Cancer season has us a little bit within ourselves. The Leo energy, slowly but surely, pulling us out of our shell, putting us out into the world in ways that we would have hesitated to do. And starting with this Mercury aspect, we are definitely speaking more from our heart space now than we ever have. July 5th, we're going to have the new moon in Cancer energy at 14 degrees. This is going to be the pivot point of plucking ourselves out of being too immersed in the past, bringing ourselves into the present moment and actively trying to focus our time and energy and attention onto the future. A new moon being the dark phase of the moon is going to be no joke. We are definitely going to be shook up. We are going to have some dark spots. Our boundaries are going to be tested. Our feelings are going to be hurt in order for us to realize what it is that we can no longer do, what we no longer want to experience, what we no longer want to continue to tolerate. And from that, we create a framework on what it is that we would prefer to be experiencing instead. That cancer energy has a major focus on the home, on family dynamics, on the boundaries that are needed in order for us to emotionally protect ourselves. July 11th, we have Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money moving into the Leo energy, the heart and soul of the Zodiac. Think back to August of 2023. That's when Venus was retrograde in this Leo energy and essentially where the new spark, fire, and flame to this new version of self that we just brought out to play got born. Venus and Leo energy, we are bold and brave and courageous to share our affections with the people that need to hear it. We are definitely operating from a more playful place. We're bringing that childlike curiosity energy and playful energy back into our day to day. Yes, we're going to put ourselves out there in a big way. We aren't as timid. We aren't as shy. We're also going to have some big waves of emotion definitely put push us into situations and circumstances that, again, we would normally be hiding from. Now, July 20th, we have Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger, moving out of the Taurus energy and moving into Gemini energy. So, of course, with Mars in that Taurus energy, it was a slow, steady pace of realizing where it is that we need to pivot away from and what we now have to pivot towards. We were building in our self-worth. We were building in our self-confidence. We were taking the low, slow approach of gaining our bearings. We really needed to be calculated with our energy, with our actions, and now moving into the Gemini energy, an air sign, we are going to have a lot of information to kind of process and sort through in order to support the moves that we want to make. In typical Gemini fashion, we may actually be divided 
on the choice, on the path, on the direction, on the actions that are needing to be taken right now. However, if we can put the blinders on and actually focus on one path direction over the other, we're going to see some major moves be made. This is going to be a time where we're all going to be a little bit more intellectually supported, where we're going to have these conversations, maybe even collaborations with people around us in order to actually trigger and activate this aha moment on what it is that we want to do, what we want to pursue, and where it is that actions and moves can be made in order to further our progress. July 21st, we have the second full moon in Capricorn popping off at 29 degrees. Of course, we kick cancer season off with the full moon in Capricorn at a one degree, and we're closing ca cancer season out with this full moon in Capricorn at a 29th degree. This is a critical crisis karmic degree. This is the finality point. This is the ending point. This is the closure point of a lot of the chapters that we've been trying to wrap up over the last month. The full moon is a releasing point. It is a purging point. It is the last hurrah to remove the physical structures, foundations, circumstances out of our physical realm that are blocking us from moving on, blocking us from pursuing a new path, blocking us from setting new goals. This is going to be a doozy. However, it does have a lot of supporting energies for us to see where it is that we're making a hard pivot away from what it is that we've been banging our head against a wall about, trying to figure out how to escape, how to get away from certain situations and circumstances, and how we can actively start putting one foot in front of the other and gain a little bit more momentum towards our long-term goals, visions, and dreams. July 22nd, the sun will be moving into Leo energy. The sun is in his rulership in Leo energy. Leo season is a fixed fire sign. So fixed energy means we have an opportunity to stabilize from the up and down, the back and forth that we just went through, through the cardinal season of cancer season. That cardinal energy was a pivot point, time to change directions. Now that we've changed directions, now we need to gain our footing, gain our bearing, and a fixed season is going to do just that. Because it's a fire season, we are going to get dried up and dried off of a lot of the emotion that we've been sitting in throughout cancer season. We are heart aligned. We are operating from our authentic soul and spirit. We are in alignment with something new that we need to do that we need to pursue. There's an excitement energy coming back. There's a playful energy coming back. We are bold and brave and courageous enough to do what we have to do to advance ourselves in a new path in a new direction. July 25th, we have Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves, moving into his rulership in Virgo energy. Yes, he rules over Gemini energy, but he also rules over Virgo energy. Virgo energy is a mutable earth sign ruled over by Mercury, ruler of the mental plane. So this is very much going to bring into focus what happens in our mind is what we manifest here in the physical realm. We're very analytical. We're very much dissecting our lives at this point. We're trying to figure out what needs to stay, what needs to go. We're trying to figure out what is broken, what needs to be fixed, what needs to be healed, what needs to be repaired. Now, heads up. We will eventually see Mercury go retrograde in this Virgo energy in the coming of months. So pay attention. Again, if you haven't downloaded all the guides out there, you want to download those guides to stay ahead, to stay in alignment with these particular energies. It's going to be a beautiful time to reference back to this particular chapter in order to understand the topics and themes that Mercury's retrograde will throw back in our face. That Mercury Virgo aspect is going to help us to examine the bad habits that we have, the negative narratives that we're holding, the limiting beliefs that we are definitely holding too tightly upon. And we are going to be able to fix, heal, repair any issues that we are understanding is really blocking us from being able to make a major change, to make a transformation, to improve and to be better. The last thing that we have going on here this month is on the 26th, 
we have Chiron, the wounded healer, going retrograde at 23 degrees in Aries energy. So with any retrograde, the energy is now being internalized. We have to move inward. We have to examine the pain and trauma wounds that are still alive and well. We have to take a good look at our mental health. We have to understand where it is that running away from these particular issues is only going to prolong the particular chapter that we're currently in of a allowing our egoic programming to choose and decide certain situations and circumstances that we have no business repeating. We have to be the warrior. We have to tackle the inner issues head on and we have to try new healing modalities in order to actually see some of these wounds be healed. So of course, this has a major impact on this new version of self that we are trying to operate from. We are going to have to, again, tap into the good, the bad, the ugly, what needs to stay, what needs to go in order for us to actively heal the old wounded version to a point where we're no longer operating from those particular wounds, from that particular pain, from that particular trauma. So that is July in a nutshell. Of course, I will have astro forecasts for each and one, each and every single one of these particular events. I really encourage you to do the work to stay in alignment, to stay ahead of the energies and make sure that you are doing everything within yourself to break away from the past and to blaze a new path into the future. <music> <laughs>